from the Stroh Center in Bowling Green, Ohio. Tonight, it's a battle for first place in the Mid-American Conference as the Bowling Green Falcons take on the Red Hawks of Miami. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Alongside Andrew Everhart, I'm Brad Wozniacki. The Bowling Green Falcons had their seventh match win streak snapped last week by the Ball State Cardinals, but the Falcons bounced right back, got a four-set victory over their rival Toledo at Savage Arena. Now tonight, Bowling Green will take on the favorites to win the MAC East. Miami comes in having won seven in a row. Yeah, Miami's doing exceptionally well this season. 16-7 and seven overall record with an 8-2 and two MAC record. Them and Bowling Green, 1-2 and two in the MAC East. It's going to be a good showdown tonight. And we're looking at two of the top defensive teams in the Mid-American Conference. We'll start with Bowling Green and Callie Simon. The former Clay Eagle leads the nation in digs per set and total digs. She has been named the MAC East Defensive Player of the Week six times this season. Yeah, Callie Simon's just been a really good player for this Falcons team. She's gotten four games this season, which she's gotten over 40-plus digs, so that's really amazing for her. As you mentioned, she's six-time MAC Defensive Player of the Week, which I'm pretty sure set, uh, ties a MAC record, so that, that is really good for her. They're going to really count on her tonight. And for the Miami Red Hawks, they have plenty of offensive balance. We'll start tonight with Stella Kukoc, the six foot one outside hitter. Look at what she did the first time around against Bowling Green, a double-double. She's very strong for this team on both sides. Yeah, there's this Red Hawks team, they really have a wealth of different players. You mentioned Maeve McDonald, but Stella Kukoc, she's a really good offense and defensive player, averaging 2.38 kills per set this season and averaging 2.14 digs per set. She's a really good utility player for this Red Hawks team. Five players for this Miami team with at least 140 digs on this season. Stella Kukoc also add in 174 digs for her on the season. It's Bowling Green and Miami coming your way on ESPN. Welcome back to Bowling Green, Ohio for tonight's Mid-American Conference matchup. The Bowling Green Falcons taking on the Miami Red Hawks. And as the introductions continue, we will take a look at the Mid-American Conference standings. You go right over to the MAC East. Bowling Green and Miami, both eight and two right now. Buffalo behind them at six and four. Switch over to the MAC West and Western Michigan at 7-4 right now, Bowling Green going to see the Broncos on the road tomorrow night. Excuse me, this weekend. Yeah, and this is going to be a really good test for Bowling Green against Miami. One of the only two teams that have been able to beat them in conference play this season. So they're going to get some good practice tonight so they can play Western Michigan. And the Miami Red Hawks have had the advantage in this all-time series. They lead it 50-29. to The Red Hawks have won the last eight meetings. Bowling Green has not beaten Miami since 2013. Yeah, and I think one of the things that's going to play in Bowling Green's favor today is the fact that they have not lost to a conference opponent at home this season. So, I mean, there's not too much for them in this, seeing that you just mentioned that record. But, I mean, that, that's ultimately something at the end of the day. And to be honest, yes, Miami comes in having won seven in a row. Bowling Green had their seven-match win streak snap last week, as we mentioned. Mm -hmm. But it might have actually helped Bowling Green, not overall in the standings, but just to have that one loss, you know, refocus and get yeah. ready for this match. Yeah, I think some teams, when they're on those long win streaks, they, I don't want to say they get too cocky, but they get a little bit too confident. And sometimes you need to get knocked on your butt to get back up and face the adversity to get better. And I think that's what Bowling Green's going to do today. And there on the right, you see Bowling Green head coach Daniela Tomich in her sixth season as the head coach of this program, or 13th overall. She comes in with a career record of 241 and 150. Look at her first year, led the Bowling Green Falcons to the MAC Tournament Championship in 2012. They also beat Yale that year in the NCAA Tournament. They were eventually knocked out by the number one team, the Penn State Nittany Lions as Jesse Holly will serve and we are underway. Off the slide and Miami is on the board. Unfortunate for Callie Simon, usually she's able to get onto the end of those and save those, but just to flex off of her. And there is Miami head coach Carolyn Condit 
702 career wins. She picked up win number 700 versus Eastern Michigan in a straight set victory. She had 99 career wins during her four seasons at Xavier. Carolyn Condit's been with this program for a long time, and you got to think she's got her players ready to play in this tough matchup today. Here's Madeline Brandywee. Brandywee, the only Falcon to be named to two all-tournament teams this season. She was named the all-tournament team at the VCU Invitational and also the Bowling Green Toledo Invitational. 2-1 Bowling Green. Out of the middle. Nice execution by the Red Hawks as Meredith Stutes, the senior, gets the kill. Stutes from Kalamazoo, Michigan. Got a good hitting percentage this season, .262. It's going to be a big factor in the game. And our first service error of the match puts Bowling Green back in front. You go back to the first meeting between Bowling Green and Miami. It was the MAC opener. Bowling Green came out, took the opening set 25-19. Then the final three sets decided by two points. Could have gone either way. Daniela Tomich knew that her team that night played well enough to win that match. He's got to find a way to close it out. Yeah, and these are two very different teams than they were at the beginning of the season. So unfortunately for Bowling Green, they didn't get the nod in that game, and uh, the Red Hawks took the win, but we're going to see how it pans out today. Here's Morgan Seaman, the freshman to serve. And Miami with their second service error. Definitely not something Miami wants to make a habit of in this game, giving Bowling Green some free points. It looks like Paulina Icabelli will be back to serve this one. Nice crowd tonight. Expect a great atmosphere. Both teams going to try and settle in in this match here early. Off the block and out of bounds. We are even again. And here is Taylor Dano. Received by Simon. Now on the back set, that was Kovacic. Marciniak there, Simon. Bumps it to the outside. Ooh. Falcons will get another chance here. Marciniak, Kovacic. Nice block by the Red Hawks. Just rolled over. Good rally by both teams. And the attack is long. Just got a little bit too much range on that shot. Callie Simon saw that one going all the way. Callie Simon, we mentioned the fact that she leads the nation in digs per set and total digs, but she has also had a perfect serve-receive game in the last five matches. Again, the attack is long for the Red Hawks. And it's interesting looking back to last year's team. Uh, when Callie Simon wasn't really playing all that often that she's been able to come into her own. 6-4 Bowling Green. And off the antenna, Falcons in front by three. And we have an early timeout. Bowling Green seven, Miami four. You're watching Mac Volleyball on ESPN. A nice start for the Bowling Green Falcons, leading Miami 7-4 in this first set. Miami having some trouble with attack errors and service errors so far. Yeah, I mean, the Red Hawks have kind of been shooting themselves in the foot so far, and Bowling Green's been doing a good job of taking advantage of it. On the right side, Kovacic. And it looked like Olivia Rusick did get her hand on that block. Unfortunately, nobody was able to get it to save it for the Red Hawks. And Bowling Green has doubled up Miami here early. Interesting, Miami has four kills to Bowling Green's one, but they're down by four. Out of the middle, it's good for Miami. Olivia Rusick picks up the kill. Rusick, during this seven-match win streak, 
for the Red Hawks has picked up 85 kills and 83 digs. She was named the Mac East Offensive Player of the Week back on October 2nd. And taking it cross court, nice diving effort by Maeve McDonald. Now Askin. Simon with the dig. Nice save by Simon. Tipped over top. Another good rally here early. And Bowling Green is going to be called for double contact. Hmm. Bowling Green looked like they had a good thing going right there. Red Hawks within two. Maeve McDonald to serve. Now tipped over. Over top, Marciniak with the dig. Mm. And nice play at the net, sending it into the back row. Red Hawks on a 3-0 run. Received by Icabelli. Timing a little bit off as the Falcons went to Brandywee. But Kovacic... Nice play at the net. Looked like Brandwe uh, kind of shanked that shot a little bit, ended off paying off. Didn't quite look like the timing was there off the pass. Mm -mm. As going back to serve is Victoria Icabelli. Received by McDonald. Joust. McDonald gets there. Paulina Icabilly there at the net, and this time Miami wins that one. Looked like Meredith Stutz was there. Miami Redhawks coming off a four-set victory over Ball State. They were led in that match by Katie Tomasic with 18 kills. She hit 395. Olivia Rusick added 12 kills and 20 digs. Now the back set. Off the block, and we are even. Miami working their way back into this game slowly but surely. Received by Icabelli. Now off the slide, that's Brandy Wee. Simon, and Bowling Green can't dig it out. Olivia Rusick will be credited with the kill. See Simon, she did a good job of handling that one. Just nobody in the middle of the court to save it. And here's Mackenzie Zolinski to serve. Deep serve, handled well by the Falcons. Now Askin, that finds the back row. Jacqueline Askin going cross court. She was limited in the matches against Eastern Michigan and Ball State, but then had the double-double with 10 kills and 10 digs against Toledo. Asking one of the many premier freshmen on this team, making her, making her presence known in this game so far. Now Rusick. Miami is going to get the free ball. Zelinski pushes it to Rusick. Dig for Simon. That was Slimko. Dumped over, mm. and Bowling Green caught looking at one another. Cheeky little shot there, Zelinski. Miami by one. Falcons had an eight to four advantage. Serve might have gone long. Bowling Green not taking a chance. And that one goes right into the net. Bowling Green Falcons, we mentioned, defeating their rival, the Toledo Rockets. In their last match, the Falcons had the 11 to six advantage in blocks and six to three in aces. On the right side, blocked. And off the block, again out of the middle, Miami having success, Meredith Stutes. That was another one of the freshmen we mentioned, uh, Katie Kidwell getting her hand on that block right there. Unfortunately, it goes the Red Hawks way. Marciniak. 
Found Slimko, couldn't put it down. And off the antenna, point Bowling Green. I think that's the second shot we've seen go off the antenna and go Bowling Green's way. Usually don't see that too often. As the setter, Isabel Marciniak, will be back to take this serve. Deep serve, tight pass, just pushed over. And a violation against Miami into the net. Here's Marciniak. Isabel Marciniak has averaged 40.3 assists per match in Mid-American Conference play. She sends that serve long. She has also averaged 11.4 digs in MAC play. Really impressive. Also averaging 9.95 assists per set. Very high for this team. Here's Morgan Seaman. Slimko. Mm. Right there with Seaman. Simon got her hands on it, but goes out of bounds. And you almost wonder if that one might have went long, Brad. It was a nice angle taken by Miami on that attack to make it tough for Simon. Mm -hmm. Received by Simon, now Marciniak, Kovacic. Isabel Kovacic continues to have a big role in this match. And the thing I've been seeing from Bowling Green is they're doing a good job of getting set up and trying to get the kills, but it seems that the Red Hawks are always in a position to get some digs. Miami like Bowling Green. Top three in the Mid-American Conference in opponents hitting percentage. Bowling Green number two at 168. And Miami actually tied for fourth with Toledo at 186. So top five for both teams. And another Miami service error. Seen a lot of errors in this game. Miami with five total attack errors. Received by McDonald. Now on the right side, Simon there. Kovacic tipped over top. Mm. Kovacic giving the Red Hawks a little bit of their own medicine at that little jump tip. It's really plagued Bowling Green, but it's paid off in their favor. It's one of those matches where you just have to be very versatile out there. Not mm -hmm. going to go for the big swing every time. Change it up, whether you're on the outside or the middle. You just got to take what the other team gives you. And on the right side. And Bowling Green can't dig it out. And that one seemed like it hung in the air forever, and no one was able to get to it for Bowling Green. Maybe a little bit of a miscommunication there as Maeve McDonald will take this serve. Received by Paulina Icabelli. Now Kovacic tried to take it down the line. And a nice play at the net. That all started with that play by Maeve McDonald, who comes in over 2,000 career digs for the senior. She's currently 13th in the country in digs with 489 entering this match. And she's only the 15th woman in MAC history to have 2,000 career digs. So it's a very impressive line of work over her four years. Yeah, the program's all-time leader in digs. Another dig for Simon. Brandywee and too low on the attack. You can see Brandywee going for that jump tip again, but Red Hawks were ready for it. They've seen that. Here's McDonald. Marciniak finds Kovacic. She was blocked, and again... It hits the hardwood, and Daniela Tomic immediately off the bench for a timeout. Miami late in set number one, has a 19-16 advantage. We'll be back. From the moment you set foot on campus at BGSU, you'll know this is the place where you can belong. In fact, BGSU is recognized for our strong commitment to engaging students in their education. And Bowling Green is one of the best college towns in America. 
This is a place where you can stand out. Come to one of the nation's top public universities and choose a program that fits you. Take advantage of the Falcon Internship Guarantee, the first of its kind in Ohio. With a BGSU degree, you can go far, further than you ever thought possible. Confident in your qualifications and ready like never before to fly. Belong, stand out, go far at Bowling Green State University. Plenty of students in attendance tonight for this Mid-American Conference matchup. They know it's a big matchup for their Bowling Green volleyball team welcoming in the Miami Red Hawks. And Miami leads this first set 19-16. See how Bowling Green responds out of the timeout. Tipped off the block. That's Russick. Miami was behind early in this game. They found a way to work their way back into it. We pointed out early, finding yeah. a way to close it out late mm -hmm. in the set. If you can't close out games, it doesn't mean anything. Tipped over top by Brandywee. Now Russick. Kovacic. Askin. Bowling Green gets it back to a three-point set. Bowling Green fortunate to get the point right there. It looked like two Red Hawks players just ran into each other. We've seen a lot of miscommunication in this game so far. Out of the middle. Another kill for Meredith Stutz. Stutz a big part of this team defense as well. She set the Miami solo block record back on September 30th in a five set win over Kent State. She had six solo blocks in that one. She's averaging a team high one, uh, .102 blocks per set this season as well. Just adds to just how good these two teams are defensively. Mm -hmm. And the Red Hawks are doing exceptional blocking in this game so far. And Brandywee gets the kill. Captain of the Falcons getting in early. Falcons still have some work to do. You'll get one more look at the last kill. Solo block not going to get the job done against Brandywee. Russick tried to send it deep. Now Slimco down the line. Mm. Well, Slimco really threaded that needle. Twenty-one nineteen. Miami trying to respond. The tip. And Bowling Green couldn't dig it out despite the diving effort of Victoria Icabelli. Red Hawks three points away from taking the first set here on the road. Brandewe went cross court. Nice dig by Zelinski. Free ball for Bowling Green. Slimko. There's Russick in the back row. Now on the outside, going cross court, Taylor Dano. And we've got a Bowling Green timeout. The Red Hawks two points away from taking this first set. From the moment you set foot on campus at BGSU, you'll know this is a place where you can belong. In fact, BGSU is recognized for our strong commitment to engaging students in their education. And Bowling Green is one of the best college towns in America. This is a place where you can stand out. Come to one of the nation's top public universities and choose a program that fits you. Take advantage of the Falcon Internship Guarantee, the first of its kind in Ohio. 
With a BGSU degree, you can go far, further than you ever thought possible. Confident in your qualifications and ready like never before to fly. Belong, stand out, go far at Bowling Green State University. Miami 23, Bowling Green 19. Freddie and Frida Falcon having some fun with the Miami players. Red Hawks looking to take the first set here on the road. See if Bowling Green can go on a run out of the timeout. Now on the right side, Simon there. Now Slimco. And sent into the back row. Bowling Green can't dig it out. Katie Tomasic gets the kill. Tomasic coming off that 18 kills performance against Ball State. The Red Hawks have really had the Falcons number in terms of kills. 18 to 10 so far. Tipped over. And Bowling Green still alive in the set for now. Good job of the captain Brandewee keeping him alive. Twenty-four twenty. Zelinski to the outside and the block. Taylor Dano had that one come right back into her face. Red Hawks still in control. And tough time on the serve receive. It's an ace. And now Miami wants to talk things over. And that's what I was thinking. Good job on Miami to call a timeout and regroup. You got the Falcons right where you want them, and your players are just not executing as of late. 24-22 right now here in set number one. If you're just joining us, Miami and Bowling Green both coming in at 8-2 and two in Mid-American Conference play. The Red Hawks had the advantage in the first meeting, winning in four sets. Go back to that first meeting. The two teams were even in blocks, 9-9. Miami had the advantage in aces, 6-4. And the hitting percentages, Bowling Green also had the advantage at 216 to 168. Not much separation in this match. And outside of kills here, hasn't been much separation overall. Again, Miami is still in front, though. Yeah, I mean, Miami and Bowling Green have been taking advantage of the other team's uh mistakes but I mean you just look at that kill stat right there Miami doing a much better job of picking their spots and getting those kills than Bowling Green you go back to early on in this set Bowling Green needed to build a little bit more of a lead early on with these service errors and the attack errors that Miami had going yeah and Bowling Green I believe they had like a four point lead eight four there. eight yeah eight four and then they just slowly let Miami creep back into the game if they want to win this game, they're going to have to stop doing that. Another look at some of the Halloween costumes tonight. Plenty here at the Stroh Center. Now on the right side, Miami will take the first set behind a kill from Katie Tomasic. Miami 25, Bowling Green 22. You're watching Mac Volleyball on ESPN. In the first meeting between these two teams, it was Bowling Green taking the opening set 25-19. This time Miami taking set number one 25-22. Freddie Falcon enjoying his time in the stands right now as we take a look at some of the first half numbers, first set numbers. And Miami, a 326 hitting percentage. Bowling Green at 231. And the blocks, Bowling Green comes in Number two in the MAC in blocks per set at 2.38. Miami, too many times they were effective going right through that block. Uh, yeah, I mean, a lot of the times Miami would get on the block and it would make it much easier for them to receive it. And they've really been taking advantage of Bowling Green's uh, mistakes throughout this game. And, oh, I mean, we mentioned earlier, look at that kills right there. 20 for Miami, 
11 for Bowling Green. That's really a stat that you have to dominate if you want to win a set. And take us through the individual numbers for Miami. Well, for Miami, you see their lead being led in kills by Meredith Stutz and Katie Tomasic. Really no surprise right there. Really good player for the Red Hawks. And then you got Olivia Rusick with three kills. And then uh, Stella Kukoc with two. And Taylor Daynault with two. So they're really spreading the ball around. And how about those attack percentages for Tomasic and Stutz? Tomasic at 714, Stutz at 833. Now for Bowling Green, Isabel Kovacic, four kills. She hit 300 in that first set. Behind her, Madeline Brandywe had three kills, but that's about it. From there for Bowling Green, Isabel Marciniak handed out 10 assists and Callie Simon with seven digs. Bowling Green is a very defensive team. They're just going to have to rely a little bit more on their offense to get it done tonight. You did not see. We get ready for set number two. We did not see Katie Kidwell in that first set much. And Bowling Green's going to turn this around with their defense. You're going to have to think she's going to be involved. Yeah, Katie Kidwell, the leading blocker on this team, only a freshman. She's going to have to have a lot more of an impact on this game because she's been one of the biggest contributors for them this season. Absolutely. one nothing Falcons. Rusick blocked. Miami keeps it alive, and it's Rusick again. Tried to take it down the line. It's out wide. There's Maeve McDonald, eight digs in set number one. Now on the right side, off the slide. Meredith Stutes, another kill. Now it's Olivia Rusick to serve. Deep serve, and that gives Miami their fourth service error of the match. Service error is one of the uh, stats that Miami does not want to be leading in compared to some others tonight. Received by McDonald. Now Zelensky back set, and a cross court kill. For Katie Tomasic. Looks like Marciniak and Simon both went for that one. Almost got on onto the end of it, but unfortunately goes out for a Red Hawks point. Received by Simon. Now Kidwell. Dano sends it into the back row. Slimco. Not much on the attack again for Bowling Green. Good save by Holly. Zelensky pushed it into the net. Mm. Not on the same page with her teammate there. No, and that's really uncharacteristic of Zelensky. Very good setter for this Red Hawks team. Just another one of the errors that have been compiling for them. Just out on that serve. It was close. She made a good judgment call, ducking down and not touching that one. And here's Morgan Seaman to serve. Seaman from Carmel, Indiana. Marciniak finds Kovacic off the block and out of bounds. Isabel Kovacic, just find her right now. She's been very successful. Yeah, not really one of the main contributors for the Falcons this season, but in a game in which you lose the first set, you're going to need players to step up, and she's done a good job of that so far. Blocked. Bowling Green fired up after that one, and they should be. And I believe that was Kovacic on the block right there you just mentioned. Bowling Green, just like set number one, out to the early advantage. Short serve. And a yep. double contact. 
Look what we got here, four point lead, just like they had in the first set. And a Miami timeout. Bowling Green seven, Miami three, we'll be back. After dropping set number one, 25-22, the Falcons are again off to a strong start, up 7-3. Four-point advantage over the Red Hawks. Brad Wozniki, Andrew Everhart here with you. Miami a little bit of a tough time there in the serve receive. Excellent Here's, dig. And Holly sends mm. it long. A bit too much on that for Jesse Holly, who's really been having a really good game up to this point. Just short memory. Yeah, got to. Received by Paulina Icabelli. And Bowling yep. Green, nice play out of the middle. Looks like Madeline Brando we got on to the end of that. Victoria Icabelli back on the floor and she will serve. Service error. I believe that is Bowling Green's third service error of the match. Mm -hmm. Holly. Nice roll shot, and Miami can't dig it out. For a second there, I thought that was going to be a Red Hawks point. Bowling Green had a little bit of trouble getting that dig. They found a way to do it and get the point to go up by four. Right side, tipped over top. Stella Kukoc the kill. Kukoc the player that we mentioned in the open, averaging 2.38 kills per set this season. Kukoc, of course, the daughter of Tony Kukoc, who played 13 seasons in the NBA and won three NBA titles. Serve might have gone long. Another chance for the Falcons. Here's Slimco. Nice adjustment to play that ball off the block. Excellent job by Slimco to get her own rebound and then score the point for the Falcons to keep them ahead by four in this game. Good aggressive serve from Brandywee. Out of the block. Out of the middle. Miami looking for the touch. They're not going to get it. Bowling Green by five. Zelinski to Rusick. Took a little bit off. Mm. Plenty of hang time there. Took some pace off that ball. It's back to a four-point set. Kind of like an off-speed pitch in baseball. Forces the other team to kind of regroup, and a lot of times they're not ready for it. Serve from Rusick off the tape. And double contact. Looks like Katie Kidwell got onto that ball first, and Bowling Green with another... Air as the Red Hawks will get a point. And Daniela Tomic having a word with the down official. Not sure if she didn't agree with that last call. She was very upset the first time double contact was called. We will resume play with Bowling Green in front by three. Kidwell, count it. Right on time, Katie Kidwell. We said earlier she needed to step up in this game. She makes a statement right there. Twice has been named Mac East Defensive Player of the Week.
See if Miami can respond. And the attack does find the back row. Looked like it might have gone long, but Tomasic picks up the kill. I think both teams have felt a couple of calls haven't gone their way. Mm -hmm. Service error. Just maybe there, that was the volleyball gods on the side of Bowling Green <laughs> getting that last point back because it was close on that last kill for Miami. Yeah, and one thing's for sure, after this game, both of these teams are going to be working on their serves because they have not been relatively well tonight. Block. Kidwell. Kidwell coming in with 6.7 blocks on average in Mid-American Conference play. And off the fingertips, mm. Rusick, a little smile after that one. Yeah. Felt like she might might have got away with one right there. Kidwell got her hand on it as it looked like Polina Icabelli was ready to get that dig. Bowling Green trying to respond. They went to Kovacic and, and this one. one into the scores table. Good job of getting on to the end of that one. Just couldn't take enough off of it as that one... Hit some of our friends down there. A couple of the radio broadcast crews. That's okay. Got to keep your head on a swivel in this game. Deep serve. Handled well by Miami. But the attack is long. Mm. And Bowling Green extends their lead to six. I believe their largest lead of the match. Now for Bowling Green, you got to work on maintaining this lead. Something that they couldn't quite do in the first set. Out of the middle, and the attack is out. Miami wanted the touch. Carolyn Condit wanted the touch. She's looking at all three officials. Too many long balls for Miami tonight. Went right to the line judge, then went to the down official, then looked at the head official. Not gonna change the call. It's mm -mm. Bowling Green 17, Miami 10, we'll be back. Status quo. Break the ceiling. Go far. Confident in your qualification, fueled by purpose, clear in your direction. You have so much to give. Limitless potential. Change the world. Leave fingerprints. Make it count. With these wings, you're ready like never before to fly. Belong. Stand out. Go far. At Bowling Green State University. Rise. Head and shoulders above the rest. Stand out. Never lost in the crowd. Your unique story, the one and only you. Fully supported, fully believed in. Together we will learn to lead arm in arm. So much in common, so much to share. We will be challenged, but we will overcome. Because it is our turn to shine. Belong, stand out, go far. At Bowling Green State University. The Bowling Green Falcons with their largest lead of the match. 17 to 10 year score here in set number two. Falcons trying to even up this match at a set apiece. Still a long way to go. And right into the block, Stella Kukoc gets the kill out of the timeout. Timely point for the Red Hawks. They were uh, waning behind in points, down seven as they regain one. Now Kovacic, McDonald got the dig, but an overpass put down by Bowling Green. And Bowling Green in the second set's been doing a much better job of getting in position, getting ready for those balls. And here's Kirsty Shaw. And a service there. Timeout. 
Christy Shaw, another freshman for the Bowling Green Falcons as Maeve McDonald will serve. Off the slide, Brandy Wee sends it out. Just like that, Miami's got it down to five. Received by Holly. Now she'll get it back. Took it down the line. Dumped over by Marciniak and Seaman was ready. Smart play by Marciniak. Red Hawks were ready. Brandywee tries the tip kill, unsuccessful. The dig for Kukoc. Another dig for Simon. Now Holly off the block. Bowling Green back in front by six. It's a very timely point for Bowling Green. The Red Hawks were on a two-point streak. Looked like they might get back into it. Jesse Holly takes a point for them. It was a crucial point. Tight pass. And Miami gets the kill off the block. Zielinski back on the floor, along with Katie Tomasic. Bowling Green, tough time on the serve receive. Overpass gives the Falcons another chance. Slimko, count it. Oh. Tough for Maeve McDonald right there. Usually really good at getting on to the end of those. Could only get one hand on the ball as Bowling Green takes another point and they move closer to taking this set. Bowling Green will take that out of system there and still get the kill. They give that point back with a service error. And if you're them, you've really got to focus on maintaining this lead and not giving the Red Hawks easy points. Rusick. And a service error. Wow. A little off-speed serve by Rusick right there. Just uh, not enough mustard on that ball to get it over. Here's Marciniak, the former Bedford kicking mule. Off the block. Out of the middle tonight. Meredith Stutes. Very successful. Stutes. Averaging 1.78 kills per set. An impressive .262 hitting percentage this season. Timely point for her. Slimko. A dig for Stutes. Tipped over. Holly gets there. Bowling Green was ready for that one. 22-16. Slimko, the lone senior on this Falcons team bringing that point home, and she'll get a handshake from Daniela Tomic, the coach over there. And an ace for Bowling Green. Miami couldn't get out of the way of that one. And it looked like both players looking at each other, going, all right, what are you going to do? Yeah, that indecisiveness <laughs> was costly. Bowling Green two points away from taking set two. Pass into the net. Nice dig for McDonald. And the kill for Margaret Payne. Haven't heard much from Payne tonight. But she did have plenty of success in the first meeting when she led the team with 14 kills. Payne was actually the best hitting percentage on the team, .305. Really haven't called her name a lot tonight. Kovacic, count it. And that was an absolute bullet by Kovacic. I don't think anybody was going to get on to the end of that one. Set point. And the overpass. Bowling Green takes advantage. The Falcons respond to Miami here in set two. 25-17 your score. We are even at a set apiece in this Mid-American Conference matchup.
welcome back to Bowling Green, Ohio. Miami and the Falcons even at a set apiece. Falcons taking the second set, 25-17. Nice response by Bowling Green. And in a moment here, we're going to take a look at the highlights. We'll start with the stats. Miami overall a 30-24 advantage in kills. Bowling Green tightening that gap from that first set. Yeah, it's really been a tale of two sets. Miami really dominating kills in the first one. While Bowling Green, they're working their way back into this game, and boy, did they ever make a statement taking that set. Falcons now up to a 308 hitting percentage. Miami at 269. Bowling Green hit 440 in that second set. Yeah, I mean, that's just a testament to their talent on offense. I mean, they really struggled in the first one, but you know what, Daniela Toma, she's a great coach. She got them ready for that second set. And those are your stats through the first two sets. We'll take a look at the highlights when we come back. Back inside the Stroh Center, where Miami and Bowling Green are even at a set of piece. And we knew coming in to this match, if Bowling Green was going to have success, one of the players that was going to lead the way would be Callie Simon. We'll take a look at some of her highlights so far through this match. Simon up to 10 digs so far through the first two sets. Yeah, and that's really uh, Callie Simon's bread and butter this season, leading the nation, as we mentioned before, in digs per set with an impressive 6.95. She's really made her mark on this game, as we just saw right there, going really all over the court to get some really nice digs, really keeping Bowling Green in the game so far. Look for more of that as we get ready for set number three. See if Bowling Green can feed off of that defense and try and take a two sets to one advantage. Although this Miami team, very good. Red Hawks might find a way to come right back and take the third set. We'll have to wait and see. Mm -hmm. Bowling Green, Miami, Mac Fowlerball, you're watching ESPN. Welcome back to Bowling Green, Ohio. We are just a couple of minutes away from the start of set number three. Miami Redhawks coming in, 16 and seven overall, eight and two in Mid-American Conference play. Bowling Green at 12 and nine and eight and two in the MAC. Redhawks did take the first meeting in four sets. And Andrew, take us through the numbers for Miami through the first two sets. Well, for Miami, I think uh, one of the players that we really haven't talked about too much and really underappreciated is uh, Mackenzie Zielinski. 16 total assists so far, really good for them. And then you look at the hitting percentage, uh, you have Zielinski with a perfect one hitting percentage. <laughs> and then you look at Meredith Stutz, she's really been a good player for Miami today. .636, that is extremely good for the Red Hawks. And then you look at Stella Kukoc, the player that we talked about in the open. .571, also very good with four kills. Now for the Bowling Green Falcons. You have Madeline Brandywee and Isabel Kovacic each with seven kills. Brandywee hitting 312, Kovacic at 400. Isabel Marciniak has handed out 19 assists. We mentioned the 10 digs for Callie Simon, Paulina Icabelli also with four digs, and Jesse Holly with four digs to go along with her two kills. Bowling Green, an advantage of 440 to 160 in hitting percentage in that second set. And I think one of the really telling stats of that second, uh, second set was the attack errors. Going through the first two, Miami has 12 attack errors to Bowling Green's four. So Bowling Green has been doing much better of not shooting themselves in the foot with that. And here we go with set number three. Rolled over. And coming in there was Victoria Icabelli, but Bowling Green can't dig it out. One-nothing Red Hawks. 
We've seen a lot of those uh, jump tips from both teams tonight. Sometimes they work, sometimes they haven't. It worked in my, uh, Miami's favor right there. Brandy Wee right into the body of Margaret Payne. Simon there in the back row. Now the overpass and <laughs> hammered down. And that's something if you're Bowling Green, it's, you're just going to have to live with it because Simon unfortunately couldn't take enough off that ball and it makes its way over the net. And the Red Hawks send it home for a 2-0 lead. Here's Dano. And an ace. That serve just ate up Victoria Icabelli. See Selena Canigan. Have not seen her tonight. She has been one of Bowling Green's offensive leaders. Good hustle by the Red Hawks. Bowling Green, though, will get the free ball. And a tight pass. Mm. Russick there at the net. Another point here and expect a Bowling Green timeout. Yeah, smart play would uh, to be a timeout called for Bowling Green as they've given up four straight points. Slimko. Bowling Green on the board. Good job by Slimko, the only senior on the team to take a point back from them. Picking up her sixth kill of the match. And you know, a player that we haven't really mentioned is Jacqueline Askin, usually one of the main contributors for the Falcons on offense. Haven't called her name a lot tonight. Heard more from Askin in that first set, not so much in the second set. It looks like Bowling Green will get called for a double contact right there. Madeline Brandewee checks out of the game. 5-1 Red Hawks. Here's Tomasic. Marciniak to Holly. Not the attack Bowling Green wanted. Well, Ku coach took it cross court. And nobody was getting to that. Just ran out of real estate. Would have had to jump over the scorer's table to get that one. That's possible. Yeah, it is possible. Very athletic. There's not much room after you get over the scorer's table. Oh, no. Now Kidwell. Katie Kidwell. Kidwell mainly a defensive player for the Falcons team, but she can also play a little bit of offense too. Coming in clutch right there, taking a point back for them. Solo block not going to get it done there. Now Russick out of the middle. Nice execution by the Red Hawks. And Russick just put that where there were no Bowling Green players. No chance for them to get to that one. Good awareness by her. Received by Simon. Now Kovacic tried to take it down the line and Seaman was there. Now the joust. Slimko. Seaman there again. Dig for Marciniak. Miami free ball. Can they take advantage? They do. Went right to Margaret Payne. I mentioned Payne, not uh, one of the players that we've really talked about in the first two sets. Be interesting to see if she can uh, make a difference here. Service error. Different, sto different story so far in this third set compared to the first two. Bowling Green had the early advantage in set one and set two. Mm -hmm. Miami taking a page out of their playbook as they have a five-point lead right now. You just know they're too good of a team not to come out and respond after how set number two ended. And the kill for Russick. The Red Hawks just seeing the floor a lot better than Bowling Green so far. Really putting away those kills when they get the opportunity. And a timeout has been called. Miami leads Bowling Green 9-3.
Miami nine, Bowling Green three here in set number three. Trouble on the serve receive and the attack goes out. Miami in front by seven. I believe this is the largest lead for the Red Hawks in this match. And that's been the story for Bowling Green. Just a lot of balls that have gone too far. Too many errors for them in this third set. They've really got to regroup. And nearly an ace. Free ball. Right side, Kukoc finds the back row. It's now 11 to three. If you're Bowling Green, you got to find a way to stop the bleeding right now. This is definitely not the position they wanted to be in after winning that second set. Kidwell, not the attack Bowling Green wanted. Now on the outside, try to go cross court. Did Dano. Hammered and a nice up by McDonald. But double contact is called. As Madeline Brandewee will check into the game for Katie Kidwell. Out of the middle. Nice dig by Paulina Icabelli. And rolled over. That pass was out wide. Kukoc gets there. Brandewee blocked. Mm. Dug out. What a save. Pushed off the block. Kovacic. Yes. That might have been the longest rally that I've ever seen. <laughs> you got to be happy if you're Bowling Green to come out on top because that one just seemed like it was never going to end. Six point advantage for the Red Hawks. Tipped into the block. Now off the block, Simon gets there. Good block by Kidwell. Kovacic tried to tip it around the block. Kovacic into the block. Miami back up by seven. This Bowling Green's gonna regroup right here. Maeve McDonald. Over top. Rusick. Holly tipped it down the line. And Miami can't dig it out. The hustle was there. Nice play made by Holly. And what a good save by Maeve McDonald right there, getting one hand on it. Unfortunately, none of her teammates able to get on the end of that one. Just, that, try, just trying a, to give Miami a chance. <laughs> yeah, and that's a point that Bowling Green will definitely take in this one as they're down by six. That ball hammered but dug out by Victoria Icabelli. Falcons, the chance, the dig for McDonald. Simon there, now Marciniak. Brandy Wee off the slide. Some good blocking by the Red Hawks. Margaret Payne. See, Miami continues to maintain a double digit advantage in digs. Miami also has the advantage in kills, 38 to Bowling Green's 28. Tipped over. Nice pancake. And I was sure that one hit the floor. Russick tried the roll shot. Now it's Brandy Wee. Sends it long, but it was touched by Miami. Randall is starting to make an impact on this game. As Paulina Icabelli will check out. Daniel Tomich having a discussion with the referee. And we'll resume play. 13-7. On the outside, rolled over. Simon, another dig. Here's Slim Co. Another dig for McDonald. Two liberals starting to put on a show. Mm. 
Just what we expected. Simon there. Well, that was a heater. McDonald again. <laughs> Bowling Green gets the point. Unfortunate for Meredith Stutes. Probably one of the better players for Miami in this game. Just wasn't able to locate that ball and get her hand on it. Miami by five. A deep serves. Linsky will get the assist off the kill for Meredith Stutes. Stutes making up for that last, last play right there. They cost her team a point. Direct serve. Slimko is blocked. It's a stuff for Miami. One more time. The coach was there along with Stutes. The violation called against Miami. I don't know if they were out of rotation. Five points set. On the right side, blocked. Nice block. Hammer down, Simcoe. Ball smiles after that one for Bowling Green. Cole Slimko picking up the block right there and banging that kill home. A Russick, Holly there, Kidwell tipped over. Smart play, didn't have to do too much with it. Nice little finesse kill right there for Katie Kidwell. Just dropped it where no Red Hawk was and that's all we have to do. Bowling Green has cut the Miami lead down to three, forcing the Red Hawks into a timeout. We'll be back. Thor. Push past status quo. Break the ceiling. Go far. Confident in your qualification, fueled by purpose, clear in your direction. You have so much to give, limitless potential. Change the world, leave fingerprints, make it count. With these wings, you're ready like never before to fly. Belong, stand out, go far. At Bowling Green State University. Come from small towns, suburbs, or sprawling cities. Come and belong. Take root, and together we will make this space our own. We'll thrive, master our skills, live in the moment. The conversations after class ends, where real relationships begin, connections are made, becoming a part of something bigger, bigger than ourselves. Belong, stand out, go far at Bowling Green State University. Battle for first place in the Mid-American Conference, and so far we have been treated to a good one. Miami and Bowling Green even at a set apiece, and the Red Hawks hold just a three-point advantage now here in set three. Red Hawks were in control. What do you like about this Bowling Green run? Well, the thing I like about Bowling Green is, like you said earlier, they've had a really short memory. You know, they've made mistakes, but they've come back and they've executed on the Red Hawks, and it's got them back into this game, now down two. The ace for Madeline Brandywee. 14-12. Russick off the block. Nice up by Marciniak. But then nobody takes the pass. Wow. Yeah. Someone's got to take that. It's very uncharacteristic by Bowling Green. These errors have been really racking up in this game for them. You make a great defensive play. Try and get an opportunity there to set up an offensive attack that would have cut it to three. Now and it's back to two. And then you can't make the easy play. You can't make the easy up. And it's just in part. And we could be even right now had Bowling Green found a way to play out that last point. 
Two steps forward, one step back for Bowling Green. <laughs> They're doing everything right. They're just not able to execute on the last one. And the kill for Meredith Stutz. Here's Morgan Seaman. Serve out wide, and it's too wide. Seaman giving Bowling Green a free point right there. You see Nicole Slimko, she knew that was going out all the way. As Bowling Green gets within two points. Paulina Icabelli. Now Seaman finds Russick. Paulina Icabelli there. And Miami gets the point. Icabelli really put on an island, forced to make two digs right there. Miami maintaining a slim lead. Marciniak, Kovacic, Kukoc gets there. Kovacic, yes. Good job of Kovacic. Reading the Red Hawks defense and putting that ball where they could not get it. Simon with the serve. On the outside. And Kukoc will get the kill. Been a really back and forth game so far in this third set right now. 18-15 Red Hawks. Kovacic, McDonald with the dig. Brandywee, a tight pass at the net. That's Payne. Payne starting to make her mark on this game. Timeout, Bowling Green, Miami with a four-point advantage. We've talked about the play of Callie Simon in this match. Bowling Green's libero. Well, how about the Miami libero and Maeve McDonald, the senior? She has come up big tonight. We'll get a look at some of her highlights. Yeah, and she might not have quite the numbers that Callie Simon has, but Maeve McDonald, boy, I mean, you mentioned the things that she'd been ever, she's been able to do over her four years. We mentioned earlier, over 2,000 career digs, 15th woman in the MAC to do that. Really, really good accomplishment for her, and she's been really keeping the, uh, the Red Hawks in this game so far, making some really athletic digs. Seems to be all over the court for them. The school's all-time leader in digs, Maeve McDonald. One of the reasons why Miami has remained in front in this third set. Red Hawks trying to defeat Bowling Green for the ninth straight time. Bowling Green students enjoying the timeout. And maybe some future Bowling Green students enjoying this one as well. Both teams coming back out of the timeout. The Red Hawks in front by four. See if Bowling Green can cut into the lead. Marciniak bumps it to Holly. Took it down the line, Seaman there. Now tipped over. Holly again, blocked. Nice play by Simon. Red Hawks free ball. Out of the middle. Pain is denied. Kovacic off the block. Bowling Green needed it. Kovacic, not one of the players that we usually mention contributing on offense. But in a game like this, you got to look to some players that you normally wouldn't. And she's really stepping up for them. Three. 
Three-point set. Bowling Green can cut it to two now. Rolled over. The violation called against Bowling Green. See the libero, Cali Simon, not really agreeing with that call. No one for the Bowling Green team agreed with that. Daniela Tomic pleading her case to the ref. And the argument, not going to do any good. We'll stay 20 to 16 in favor of Miami. And push right into that block. Now at the net, Brandy Wee. Nice play by Russick. Nice by Victoria Icabelli to get on the end of that ball and save it. Victoria Icabelli there again. Now Holly Russick with the dig. Great play on both sides. The attack is out. Some pretty impressive plays by both teams. Defense, defense, defense. Here it is. Zelinski, back set. Just punched across. And Bowling Green was ready for that all the way. And Brandy Wee into the block, picks up another kill. Two point set. Looks like Miami could have got on the end of that one. Just a little miscommunication by them. Can't afford that. Out of the middle, right back to a three point advantage. Twenty one eighteen. Received by Holly. Now Brandy Wee. McDonald there at the net. The overpass. Slimko says thank you very much. <laughs> and Slimko will take that all day. Places that ball perfectly. Can Miami respond? Holly there, now pushed to Slimko. Another dig for McDonald. Push deep into the corner. Olivia Russick heads up play. I don't think Russick could have placed that ball any better than she did. That was right in the corner of the court. Really been having a good day for these Red Hawks. And a short serve. Kidwell. Zelinski got the dig, then tracked down by Dano. Bowling Green will take this free ball. And Slimko unsuccessful on that attack. Miami was ready. Red Hawks two points away from taking a two cents to one advantage. Another short serve. Simon got there. Kukoc. Good day by Simon. Nice dig. That was Dano. Marciniak. Slimko. Yes. <laughs> Daniela Tomic having quick word with Nicole Slimko. On the outside, Russick denied. McDonald right back to Russick. Easy dig for Simon. Kovacic back to a two point set. What did I say earlier, Brad? Bowling Green finding a way to work their way back into this game late. And we have a timeout. Miami 23, Bowling Green 21. Don't go anywhere. From small towns, suburbs, or sprawling cities, come and belong. Take root, and together we will make this space our own. 
We'll thrive, master our skills, live in the moment. The conversations after class ends, where real relationships begin, connections are made, becoming a part of something bigger, bigger than ourselves. Belong, stand out, go far at Bowling Green State University. Soar, push past status quo, break the ceiling, go far. Confident in your qualification, fueled by purpose, clear in your direction. You have so much to give, limitless potential. Change the world, leave fingerprints, make it count. With these wings, you're ready like never before to fly. Belong, stand out, go far at Bowling Green State University. Miami 23, Bowling Green 21. Falcons trying to come from behind in this set. Solinsky on a tight pass, finds Kukoc. Another dig for Simon. And Kovacic makes it a one-point set. And looking back to the beginning of this set, Brad, the Redhawks had a huge lead on Bowling Green. Never would have thought they would have been get back into this one. But boy, have they done a good job, only down one point late. Marciniak there a moment ago looked like she may have had something caught in her eye. And Bowling Green, the block, but point Miami. Good block for BG. Unfortunately, couldn't get it to stay in bounds. As Miami has match point, set point. Marciniak, the back set to Slimko, and the Falcons still alive. Slimko answers back as she's been doing all game. And it's Paulina Icabelli to serve. Miami can take the set here. The attack is out. What a run by the Falcons. And you got to think that Bowling Green is pumped up. They've got all the momentum right now. Miami led by seven at one point in this set. Now Russick trying to push it. Sime it there. Holly. Seam in the back set. Good save by Pauline Icabelli. Touched over. Seaman gets there. What a play. Holly. Now McDonald. Russick right into the block. It's going to be a. Yeah. Point Bowling Green. What effort on both sides. And it seemed like Miami didn't realize that they'd already touched the ball three times. Not much effort to get it over the net. <laughs> Set point, Bowling Green. Overpass. And Bowling Green comes from behind to take set number three, 26-24. The top two teams in the MAC. We've got a good one here on ESPN. Miami was a point away from taking a two sets to one advantage. Instead, Bowling Green coming from behind. They trailed for just about all of that third set. Falcons found a way to take it 26-24. Bowling Green hit just 196 in that third set. Miami at 271. Miami, the advantage in this match in block six to three. And now for the Falcons, they have three players in double digits for kills. It was that offensive balance that we knew they'd have to have tonight. Yeah, and 
at the beginning of that third set, you and I both thought, oh, there's no way they can get back into this. Down six points? Are you kidding me? They find a way to get back into it late in the game and take that one. They, <laughs> that was one of the best sets that I've ever seen. Great defensive play as well. Callie Simon, 22 digs now. Add in 12 digs for Jesse Holly and 10 for Paulina Icabelli. Now for Miami, Maeve McDonald, 19 digs. Eight for Mackenzie Zielinski. And then you have eight for Taylor Dano as well. And three players tied with six. The defensive battle continues. For Bowling Green, Callie Simon racking up those digs of 22. And Isabel Marciniak from her center position, 32 assists tonight. Very impressive for her. You just go through the numbers for these two teams, Bowling Green and Miami, both top five in the MAC in opponent hitting percentage. Bowling Green number two in the MAC in blocks per set. Falcons number one in the MAC in digs per set, and Miami at number three. I mean, we knew this was going to be a really fun game coming into it, and it has definitely not disappointed thus far. Carolyn Condit having a few words with Morgan Seaman, her freshman. Zelinski with the serve, set number four underway. Brandy Wee. Zelinski right there. Not much on that attack for Miami. Now Brandy Wee again, blocked. Seventh block of the match for Miami. If you're Miami, you've got to get a couple quick points right here to get your confidence back. Holly, yes. Red Hawks with the block again, just couldn't keep it on Bowling Green's side for the point. More time, the block just not tight enough. Got to press over. And at the net. Point Bowling Green as Miami couldn't control the serve. Looked like the Red Hawks might have touched it over the net. Out of the middle, Katie Tomasic. Her ninth kill of the match. Kukoc with the serve. Good dig by Holly. Then the pass into the net. See Brando, we tried to get onto the end of it. Just not enough to get it over the net. As Miami takes a one point lead in this fourth set. Deep serve to Simon. Slimko. Tipped over and Looked long from our vantage point. Looked like it was definitely long. Oh, yeah. Point Miami. And here are some of the fans behind us not too pleased with that. Uh, yeah, the Bowling <laughs> the the Green either. faithful did not agree either. Oh, no. There's been a lot of calls this game where we've uh, kind of questioned them a little bit, but that one especially very close. And a violation. We'll give the point to Bowling Green. There's those volleyball gods again. <laughs> they work in mysterious ways. Well, they come through when it counts. Oh, yeah. 4-3, your score. And now 4-4 on the ace. Received by Ku Coach. Nice dig. That was Victoria Icabelli. Block. McDonald right there. Dumped over, and Victoria's there again. Good Slimco. Yes. Nice execution. Leave by Kukoc. Now Zelinski bumps it to Rusick. Holly. Rusick again. Holly there again. 
Long rally. And off the antenna. Point Bowling Green. Bowling Green starting this fourth set just how they wanted to. Two point lead right now. They're gonna look to extend it. Russick out wide. And it looked like Russick might have been able to place that ball in there. Just a little bit wide. Good direct serve. There's Brandy Wee and into the bench. Mm. And Bowling Green can't get it back, but not without the hustle. Icabelli was there. Holly tried to get there. Falcons in front by two. Pretty impressive nonetheless. Bowling Green bench, that might have been the best scene right there. Everyone <laughs> just clearing out. Parted like the Red Sea over there. And into the net. Four hits, makes it a one point set. Oh, sorry. Marciniak to Slimko. The mm. attack into the net, we're even. Like Slimko tried to send that one across court, just put it on her own side of the net. As this one will be back even at seven. Service error. Saw the service errors quite a bit in set number one for Miami. They've since limited those errors. Still leading nine to six though. You gotta limit those if you're trying to get back into this. Out of the middle, Stutes. <laughs> One more look. Zelinski, another assist. Quick little jump set right there, and Stutes <laughs> takes advantage of it. Slimko finds the back row. Looks like a couple of Red Hawks were looking at each other, didn't know who was going to get that one. As they both see that one hit the ground. Here's Paulina Icabelli. Seaman. And the attack finds the back row. We trade points. Rusick took the serve down the line. Kovacic blocked. Red Hawks have been doing a good job at getting blocks in this game. Total of eight blocks right now, doubling Bowling Green's four. Marciniak to Holly. Nice dig by Seaman. Touched over by Russick. Gives Bowling Green a chance. Kidwell tips it deep. Ooh. Smooth by Katie Kidwell. Realizing there was nobody in that back line and she just drops it over the net. <laughs> Worth another look. Kukoc, dig for Simon. Holly off the block. This fourth set's been uh, much more even than the past ones have been. Tipped over. And unable to pancake that ball. Great effort for Icabelli. Here's Maeve McDonald. Holly couldn't put it down. Big swing. Could coach the kill. A little bit too much for Ike Abelli. She's been doing a really good job of getting on those digs. 
unfortunate one for her, skipped off her hands. Andrew, I'll put you in a tough spot here. If this stays tight, who do you give the advantage to? Hmm. Given what we've seen here tonight. I don't know. I mean, I got to go with Bowling Green. I mean, they're undefeated at home uh, against MAC opponents this season. I mean, they've got a good crowd here tonight. I think they've got the momentum coming off of that amazing comeback. So I got to give it to them thus far. Although the Red Hawks are putting up a good fight as this game is even at 12. And a service error. Miami back in front. Red Hawks looking for their 17th win of the season. Bowling Green trying to pick up their 13th and improve to 8-3 and three at home. Marciniak. Holly. There's McDonald. Off the slide now. Block is there. Miami has done a better job as this match has gone on of limiting the success that Bowling Green has had on this slide. That's been the Red Hawks' bread and butter all night, those blocks that they've been getting. Holly. And nice hustle by Tomasic. I'd like to personally thank Tomasic for saving us from getting hit with that ball. Fourteen, thirteen. Served down the line, might have been out. Marciniak to Slimko, and Zelinski never saw it coming. <laughs> that ball was headed straight for Zelinski. Just a six kill difference now between the two teams. Kukoc, nice play made by Victoria Icabelli. Tipped over, Kukoc is there. Tomasic finds the back row. Tomasic just placing that ball right on the tape. Really accurate shot by her. Neither team has been able to gain momentum in this fourth set. Back and forth. Slimko, we're even again. Been back and forth, and one thing's for sure, it's been really exciting thus far. Be interesting to see who can take this one. Service error. Can't have those late in the set. And that'll be Bowling Green's eighth service error. Miami still leading with 10. But far too many combined. Oh, yes. Free ball. Red Hawks looking to take advantage right out of the middle. You just see that play coming. Mm -hmm. Well, there was nobody on the left side of the court right there for Bowling Green, so that was a really easy kill. Slimko off the block. Tipped over. Nice dig. Amazing dig by Callie Simon. Tipped over, Simon there again. Simon, one more dig. Now oh, dumped over, Zelinski gets there. Bowling Green gets the free ball. Kidwell, blocked. Slimko denied, Simon there again. What play on both sides. Coverdale couldn't put it down. The Red Hawks get the free ball now. Rusick and Miami finally wins the point. That's a big point. Red Hawks now with a three-point advantage. How long do you think that one lasted, Brad? I'll say this, probably our longest of the match. Here it is one <laughs> more time. Rusick gets the kill, and we have a timeout. Miami 18, Bowling Green 15. The Red Hawks trying to force a fifth set.
A back and forth set has turned into a three point advantage now for the Miami Red Hawks. 18 15 year score. Brad Wozniki, Andrew Everhart here with you. See if the Falcons can once again climb their way back into this set like they did in set three. Received by Holly. Slimco. Miami can extend it to four. They went to Stutes that time. And down the line, Zelinski, what a dig. And the attack, nowhere close for Tomasic. Now Marciniak will serve. Down the line, Zelinski, Rusick, and Miami wanted to touch. And they're not gonna get the call. Bowling Green within one. Very reminiscent of these past sets when Bowling Green's been able to creep their way back into the game. If you're Miami, you gotta find a way to close. Rusick, out wide. A 3-0 run for the Falcons out of the timeout. Bowling Green is all smiles right now. Falcons looking for redemption, trying to defeat Miami in four sets. Just like the Red Hawks did in the MAC opener. And that one is good. Finding the back line. Seaman back on the floor along with Margaret Payne. Stutes to the bench along with Zelinski. Kovacic. Now Slimko. Kukoc with the dig. Good block right there. Coverdale. Another even, dig for Simon. Even better dig by Simon. Push to Kovacic. Nice reflexes. <laughs> <laughs> Just over our monitor. We've had a lot of balls come at us. They're almost like they're aiming at us tonight. That's a credit to the blocking. Oh, yeah. A lot of good defense in this game thus far from both teams. The blocking for them and us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 19 all here in the fourth set. And a pass into the net. Bowling Green in front. And that's what's haunted the Red Hawks tonight. They've gotten a little lead and then they've just found a way to screw it up. Bowling Green has won five of the last six points. 20 to 19 year score. We will keep it right here. Gonna have to look back here in a moment. We'll look back right now at just some of the play we've seen tonight from Meredith Stutes, the senior Middle hitter for the Miami Red Hawks. She's been a big reason why Miami has had success in this match, but still hitting over 600 for the match. Oh yeah, I mean, Meredith Stu, she's obviously been the biggest contributor for the Red Hawks tonight. 15 kills leading the team, .609 hitting percentage. And she's got three digs as well. She's getting it done on both ends and I mean, she's going to have to have some more teammates step up in this one as Bowling Green, like they've done before, creeping their way back into this one. Out of the timeout, I mean, just given what we've seen throughout the night, I go right to Stutes, right out of the middle. That's where the success has been for the Red Hawks. Mm -hmm. Miami in danger of having their seven-match win streak snapped and suffering their third Loss in Mid-American Conference play. Bowling Green trying to gain sole possession of first place in the MAC. And Bowling Green did have that last week. Miami surpassed them. They both have eight and two records. Miami does have the better overall record on the season. Bowling Green trying to get a little, little revenge on Miami, trying to take back what they think is theirs. And boy, are they doing a good job of it right now. Received by Rusick. Now taking it cross court. Payne gets the kill. Payne, one of the players that's really stepped up in these early sets. Didn't really call her name very much in the beginning. Here's Olivia Rusick. 
Marciniak finds Holly. That's going to be out of bounds. Yep. Too strong on that swing. As Madeline Brandewee will check back into the game for Katie Kidwell, it looks like. Here's Simon. Miami trying to respond. Kukoc blocked. And that one into the stands. Bowling Green by two. Morgan Seaman really giving everything she had. Ran into the officials ladder over here. Payne got her hands on it. Coverdale had her hands on it. Seaman tried to keep it alive. And a timeout. Bowling Green 22, Miami 20. We'll be back. From the moment you set foot on campus at BGSU, you'll know this is a place where you can belong. In fact, BGSU is recognized for our strong commitment to engaging students in their education. And Bowling Green is one of the best college towns in America. This is a place where you can stand out. Come to one of the nation's top public universities and choose a program that fits you. Take advantage of the Falcon Internship Guarantee, the first of its kind in Ohio. With a BGSU degree, you can go far, further than you ever thought possible. Confident in your qualifications and ready like never before to fly, belong, stand out, go far at Bowling Green State University. Miami had an 18 to 15 advantage, but right now it's Bowling Green by two. Falcons three points away from taking the set and the match. Serve from Callie Simon. Kukoc took a little bit off. Nice play by Paulina Icabelli. Red Hawks get another shot. Payne at the net. That's Katie Coverdale. Here's Maeve McDonald. Holly. That's good. Back to a two point advantage. Jesse Holly answering back. Doing a good job of maintaining this lead for Bowling Green late in the set. Another crucial point right here. Off-speed serve by Victoria Icabelli. Holly again. Mishandled by the Red Hawks will give Falcons the free ball. Brandywee tips it over. McDonald gets there. Kukoc rolls it along the net. Back to Holly. That's good. Miami didn't think so, but Bowling Green has match point. Maeve McDonald having a discussion with the ref. And like we've said before, another one of those that could go either way. It's just those volleyball gods helping out Bowling Green late in the game. It's just costly for Miami now. They've, they've been in position late in the game. It's just Bowling Green has found a way to come back into it. And you wonder if it's more them or if it's the Red Hawks crumbling under the pressure. Match point. Miami trying to stay alive. Kukoc with the swing. Mike Cabelli keeps it in, and the Red Hawks will get the free ball. Right side, Tomasic. Simon there with the dig. Here's Holly. Seaman gets there. Now McDonald. Pass out wide. Another dig for Simon. Bowling Green can win it here. Holly. There was Rusick. Now Kukoc. One more time for the Falcons. Holly. That's it. Bowling Green takes set number four, 25-21. The crowd erupting. 
And Bowling Green has snapped Miami's seven match win streak. And they have also ended the eight match win streak for Miami against the Falcons. What a performance. Yeah, this was just an overall great team performance by the Falcons tonight. A lot of players that we haven't really talked about this season. Nicole Slimko, the lone senior on the team, and Isabel Kovacic with team high 14 kills apiece. Really impressive by them. And Bowling Green on defense finding a way to get it done tonight. Two teams that could see one another again in the Mid-American Conference Tournament. We're going to get one more look at how this one ended. The kill for Jesse Holly. Bowling Green wins it in four. We'll be back. What a performance tonight by the Bowling Green Falcons, defeating the Miami Red Hawks in four sets, getting that redemption. And a different story from the first time these two teams met. Go back to the MAC opener, and it was the Miami Red Hawks finding a way to come through late in a set. This time it was Bowling Green, the Falcons coming from behind twice, third set and set number four. Yeah, the Falcons, uh, I don't even really know how to describe it. They played extremely well in those last two sets. I mean, you and I both thought that they could have played a little bit better tonight, but that doesn't matter because if you get it done at the end of games, I mean, you're going to find a way to win. And let's take a look now at the final stats from this match. A great defensive battle. Miami held the early advantage in kills. They still get the advantage tonight, 60 to 56, but Bowling Green certainly turned it around as the match went on. Big night for the Red Hawks in blocks. A 10 to 5 advantage. Service aces, 8-2 in favor of the Falcons. And the service errors, not friendly to either team tonight. No, there was definitely a lot of errors tonight, especially, like you just said, on the service errors. And they're definitely going to, both teams, going to have to work on that in practice coming up to these next games that they're going to play. We go through the individual numbers. We will start with the Miami Red Hawks. Yeah, and for the Red Hawks, um, they were led in digs by Maeve McDonald. No surprise there. Uh, for kills, they were led by Meredith Stutz player that we talked about amazing uh, hitting percentage 0 0.609 team high and then you have players like Olivia Rusick 12 kills uh, you have Stella Kukoch who we talked about in the open with nine kills and Margaret Payne with eight so they did a good job of spreading the ball around just Bowling Green ultimately did a better job Mackenzie Zielinski finished with 32 assists now for the Bowling Green Falcons four players reaching double digits and kills Led by Nicole Slimko and Isabel Kovacic, each had 14. Slimko hit 256 for the match. Kovacic hit 324. 46 assists tonight for Isabel Marciniak. And the defense, go through it. We expected from Callie Simon, of course, the six-time Mac East Defensive Player of the Week. 33 digs tonight. But Jesse Holly, a double-double for her. 14 digs, 10 kills. Paulina Icabelli, 14 digs. And you also had... 12 digs for Victoria Icabelli. Yeah, uh, I mean, when you think about Bowling Green's defense, you obviously think about Callie Simon. But, I mean, I mean, you look at the, the dig category right here, you got Jesse Holly in double digits. you got Victoria and Paulina Icabelli in double digits. We mentioned Bowling Green getting it done, spreading the ball around on offense. Well, they spread the ball around on defense, and they played a really good team game tonight. Team effort tonight, indeed. Let's look at the upcoming schedules now. First for the Bowling Green Falcons. Falcons will now get ready for Saturday on the road at Western Michigan. The Broncos currently atop the Mid-American Conference West Division. Then the Falcons will take on Ohio and Kent State, both teams that they had success again against the first time around. Then two more road matches at Akron and Buffalo. We're starting to get towards the end of the season. And now look ahead for the Miami Red Hawks. They will go on the road to Northern Illinois on Saturday, home versus Kent State and Ohio, and then at Buffalo and at Akron on November 10th and 11th. Andrew, your final thoughts on tonight's match. Obviously a big night for the Bowling Green Falcons. They snapped that eight-match losing streak to the Red Hawks. Yeah, and the thing I really like about the Falcons is that they've won nine of their last ten games. I mean, they are hot right now. Going into a game against a really good Western Michigan team, 
that's also very good. I can't think of a better way for them to come into that game than by beating a really good Red Hawks team tonight. Miami came in having won seven in a row, but it's Bowling Green's night as the Falcons defeat the Red Hawks for the first time since 2013. That's going to do it for tonight's broadcast here at the Stroh Center. Once again, a four-set victory for the Bowling Green Falcons over the Miami Red Hawks for Andrew Everhart, our producer Joe Goodman. I'm Brad Wozniki saying so long from the Stroh Center to watch this entire game on replay as well as other games on our family of ESPN networks. Log on to watchespn.com or download the Watch ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.